This video is a continuation from the insert into table from the tutorials point for Python 3 uh, connecting to a database and or pasting data into a database. So we were able to put Mac Mohan age 20 sex male and income of 2000 in statically last time. There is supposedly a dynamic way which tutorials point provides and that is the following. So what it's going to do is we're going to copy just the SQL statement and replace our other one. So let's go ahead and comment out the double quoted multi-line statement. And then notice in this statement here, we only have a single quote. The difference between this is if you wanted to do a multi-line, which I actually recommend you do, um, it's just, I don't know, for me it's easier to read, uh, but if you want to actually put in the break line symbol that's just the backslash, you can do it that way and then import the data or read the data this way. So what they're doing is they're saying for the values, they've still named the first name, last name, age, sex, and income columns. But for the values, they put in a string, a string, a digit, a character, and another digit. And then they're assigning it to the values here. So it's almost like the same concept for a string format where you would actually give yourself the curly handlebar brackets and then you would define it in the format section. It's quite similar. I'm not a fan of it, but we'll test it out and let you see it work. So I'm going to change it from Mac to Tim so we have multiple inputs. And then we're going to go Johnson. He's going to be the age of 21. And he's going to make 4500 So now when we execute this, We'll jump back to our database, refresh, and notice Tim Johnson's been added in. So you can go ahead and do that. On the next video, I'll show you a practical, semi-like uh, actual application you would use this in, or how this might benefit you, and uh, get the gears rolling.